physics and chemistry is kind of complicated. I think we can all agree on that. Like we have the, uh, all the forces of nature, the four forces of nature, all the complications of strong nuclear and weak nuclear, electromagnetism, gravity. We make atoms. We have the periodic table. There's electrons and valence electrons and, and orbital bonds and it, it, the, the whole thing that makes, you know, life possible. But all of that is just a tiny fraction of all the stuff in the universe. 95% of the universe is of a form unknown to physics. We call some of it dark matter and some of it dark energy. What they share in common is that we don't understand it. It's not included in the standard model. We don't know what it's made of. We don't know how it behaves. We, we, we got literally... We have very little. I will say we do know some things because we've been observing it, but we don't know what it's made of. We don't know where it comes from. One of the big questions we have is that is this dark sector of the universe, the combined dark matter and dark energy, is it big and dumb and boring? Is there just one kind of dark matter particle? Is there just one thing responsible for dark energy and that's it? And then over here in the 5% of the universe, that interacts with light, we have all sorts of interesting, complicated stuff. Or is dark matter as rich and complicated as normal matter? Are there forces that act on dark matter and dark matter alone? Is there dark matter? Is there a dark matter table of the elements? Is there a dark matter chemistry? Is there anything interesting happening in dark matter? Are there new forces of nature? Do those new forces of nature only talk to dark matter particles and not to us? Or do some of them leak over and talk to us sometimes? As you might imagine, there are a lot of theories, a lot of ideas. So far, they're all theoretical. They're all hypothetical. They're just ideas thrown out there. One of these ideas has a name called, are you ready for this? The dark photon. It's the equivalent of the photon in the normal everyday world carrying the electromagnetic force. This would be a force that is mostly in the dark matter, uh, but is carried by something, the equivalent of the photon, but the dark photon. I know it's a super dorky name, but there's nothing we can do about it. Uh, and for years, this idea of a dark photon or fifth extra forces in dark matter remained purely hypothetical. But back in 2016, a research group announced the discovery of a new particle. This new particle was called X-17. Well, that was the name they gave it. They called it X-17 because it had a mass of 17 mega electron volts. If that jargon term means nothing to you, don't worry about it. It's about 34 times heavier than an electron. As particles go, that's actually pretty light, which is strange because the lighter particles are more stable, they're more long-lived, so we should have found all the light particles by now, but then this research group said, hey, no, there's a brand new one, it's 34 times more massive than the electron, we missed it, it was uh, behind the couch the whole time. So this X17 particle, was an interesting result back in 2016. And then a couple years later, uh, a theory group realized that you might be able to produce X17-like particles if this new force way over here in the dark matter with the dark photons does talk to normal matter every once in a while, then you can get interesting combinations and start making particles that are 34 times more massive than the electron. So this was very interesting, especially at first, because it's like, wait a minute, we have a theoretical idea about new forces in nature, and here's a new particle that fits the bill, where the new forces in nature that are happening in the dark matter sometimes talk to the normal matter and make some interesting combinations like this little particle. But the thing is, since 2016, nothing really happened. The original group that published it still claims that it was a valid result, but they've also published other findings of new particles with all sorts of masses, and they're not exactly clear on their methodology. 
and no one else has been able to replicate their results. And this idea of the dark photons is intriguing, but once you start going along those lines and say, oh, if there is this new force in the dark matter, what would it mean for dark matter? What would it mean for galaxy formation or the history of the universe or the cosmic microwave background? And it starts a little bit sketchy, look a little bit sketchy on that side. And then this particle, X17 particle, starts to like not look very compelling because no one else in the world can make it. Could the X17 particle be real? Maybe. Could there be a new force of nature in the dark matter? Maybe. Could dark photons be real as dorky as they sound? Maybe. Do we have any strong evidence for any of it? No. So for now, it's safe to not believe in it until new evidence comes along. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, share, subscribe, patreon.com slash PM Sutter. See you next week.